Fellas, fellas, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, I, you gotta feel good when you just like, you sit back and you're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> nah, what, what, I mean, what can they say? Do you see, do you see our medal count? <laughs> Feels good when it's over. When it when it's going on, it's it's definitely tiring. But but now it's it's nice to relax and and, and see what we got. Did it feel a little bit uh, like a little bit of madness at one point? Like a, the the an amount of events that you guys swim in a pretty short window is intense. Yeah, you, events are going on all day, and it's honestly just really exciting to watch them all. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I was I wish I was able to watch more, but. Um, I kind of swam through the middle to the end of the meet, so. Yeah. But yeah, it's honestly really exciting. It's, it's, it also has to feel like I'm good to not be in a pool for the next, I don't know, maybe a week and a half. <laughs> At least yeah. the next week. Like, I'm good yeah. to like just not bump, be dry. Bump those numbers up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? How long are you taking off? Have to tell me. I think, I mean, I'll go at least a month. Really? Like, I'll, I'll do some sort of working out, but, but out of a pool at least a month. Okay. I'm going to try and take as long as I can. Uh, I got college season starting soon, so I'm oh, not sure snap. when my coach is going to have me back, but I'm going to try and try and take my time. Okay, now be honest with me. When you go back to, to, to college competition, do you wear a medal? Just like as you're, like, you know, you're warming up, you, you know, finding out which lane you're going to be in. You're like, yeah, nah, just like, no, no, cool, bro. You're so fast. You're so good. You're so good. <laughs> Gold medal right there. I don't know if you see that. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, man, you're so good. It's so great. I'm so glad to see you. Like, are you just, just, just to psych them out a little bit? No, <laughs> no. Those college guys will be intimidated enough by Bobby. <laughs> hey, there it uh, is. I'm a pretty tiny guy on the pool deck. So um, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not as tall as, you know, like Kieran. He's like 6'6. Six, six. Crazy. What's crazy, we have a 6'11 guy coming in next year to Ooh. our team. What? Yeah, from Denmark. That is that like a an unfair advantage? If you can get an advantage through genetics anyway, you know, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like he's literally <laughs> grown that tall. He was just yeah. that's just how he is. Yeah. Right, right. It's it is it does feel pretty cool to I mean, this is an an incredible feat. We were talking a little bit about peaking and like mm -hmm. what it feels like to be at operating at this level, or competing at this level mm -hmm. and with this much of success so early. Um, and also to be in a sport that has given you so much, right? Mm -hmm. Like how, how young were you when you started swimming? I was four. Yeah, I started in summer league when I was four. Oh. <laughs> I was, uh, I think my first meet was right before I turned six. Your first meet? Yeah. Not, not like, it was probably like a summer, summer league meet, yeah, but like yeah. not, Jeez. Not, not something big. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out like if I, if, could I, are you going to walk at six, right? I'm not, I'm not yeah. 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 <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> it's I just it is just really I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of you guys and what you do and how you move through the water and also how uh, it is not a um, an experience that you believe is without fault. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or that could not be improved. You know, mm -hmm. talking about in particular the. Um, perhaps the prevalence of doping in the sport, mm -hmm. you know, people using those unfair advantages. What would be the kind of changes you'd want to see um, come to the pool? Yeah, so, so I mean, I think over, over the past year, the, the U.S. anti-doping CEO, Travis Tiger, has sent out some, some pretty dire messages about the state of, of international anti-doping. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the FINA executive director, Mr. Nowicki, says that, that we've got a long way to go. And, and so I think we've got... We've got two great guys at the top who are who are working every day to to make the sport clean and transparent, mm -hmm. and and hopefully we'll we'll get there soon. Do you think? And I hate to put you on the spot, but do you think that you have in in competitive racing that you've swam against guys who've been able to pass those kinds of tests and were doping? I mean, I think I think it's really hard to answer the the question. Like I, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Like the U.S. is one of the only countries that that puts out how often. Our, our athletes are drug tested. Mm -hmm. Other countries aren't doing that. So we have no idea. Like drug testing, it's all, it's all self-policed throughout the year. So U.S. Has, looks after USA. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so I know we're doing it. We're doing it the right way. The U.S. anti-doping CEO doesn't seem to think that the rest of the world or, or some countries in the world are, are doing it the right way. And mm -hmm. uh, I, have to, I have to trust what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you think about wanting to make sure that as many people have like a level playing field mm -hmm. in the in the pool, um, and wanting to make sure that like people are 
following the rules, right? Mm -hmm. Ultimately. Yeah. Ultimately. Okay, so we're doing this thing called uh, the Tokyo Take. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like pop culture-ish questions. So <laughs> About don't think Tokyo? <laughs> No, God, I wouldn't quiz you. Like oh, that. yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna be like, this Tell is me, good. what does Harajuku mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. go. It's gonna be like, I'm about to score zero here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, there's a, uh, a famous mountain over there. What mountain? Oh, I got is it. it. Mount Fuji. And, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah okay, no, good. no. I, I'd win not, that it's one. not a pop quiz, I promise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who, if, if there could be anyone, you know, this, this pandemic has changed the way the games happened, right? You couldn't have friends and family necessarily here. To, to cheer you on in the stands, if you could pick anybody, you got one ticket, who would it be? Hmm. You, you answer first, I'm gonna think about it. I'd probably have to fly out my dad, mm. just because he's, he's been there through it all, um, driving me to practice every day, uh, listening to me and my sisters when we were younger bickering in the back seat. So um, I, I think I'd have to fly him out. Yeah, mm -hmm. how about you? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I'd have to go with my brother, and he was luckily here. He was with uh, with NBC throughout the throughout the week. Um, but he's a guy. He's he's my best friend. He's he's a confidant. Like he's someone that that I'll call. Like if I'm trying to brag about something, I'll call him. <laughs> if I'm trying to complain about something, I'll call him. He does the same with me. So so he's my best friend. So I I love that. I'm glad he was able to to be here for this experience. I love it also. Like that's the diplomatic answer. Like no one can be mad because he was already here. It's like yeah, no, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, my brother, my brother. <laughs> well, I couldn't. I for me. It, I mean, I don't want to make one of the parents mad. Exactly. exactly. I love you risked it all. Yeah. I love you risked it all. You're like, dad, dad by far. Sorry, mom. Dad. It's dad or nothing. Okay, um, if you could be cast on any current television show, what would be the show? I'm really into Brooklyn Nine-Nine right now. Really? Yeah, it's, okay. on, it's on Japanese Netflix, so I'm trying to... I'm on, I'm kind of addicted. I'm on season four already, and I started a couple days after I got here. Oh, wow. So oh, oh, wow. There's 22 episodes you've, per season. You've been moving. Yeah. In and out of the pool. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay, so if you could say anything to Terry Crews right now, what would it be? Uh, you're hilarious. Um, I love watching you in the show. Uh, and I'm excited to see these next two seasons on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. You can literally watch the next two seasons yeah. on the plane. Uh, well, how about you? Any current Ooh. television show? All right, so casting? I've been, since I've been out here, I've been binging Entourage. That one's older. Yeah. And then Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso has been a sleeper? It's been great. Yeah. It's great. So, I, I mean, I'll go with Ted Lasso. You've I been doing that, season two? I'm, no, I'm still season on one? season one. Okay, okay. I was watching it on the bus rides. That was, that was how I was taking the bus ride. So I'm, I'm on episode eight. So, and I think season two just came out. So it we're, is. yeah, so that, that would be a good one. To be. Mm -hmm. Wow, good for you. Exactly. Jason Sudeikis, if you wanted to say anything to him, what would you say? Oh, I mean, so I just passed the episode where he was just on fire playing darts. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that's, that's incredibly impressive. And I'm curious how many takes that, that actually took. <laughs> okay, we'll have to make sure we get that to him. We're calling you on some maybe TV magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe some creative editing. Okay, uh, where are you going to put your medals? I'm putting mine in a safe. Okay. Probably going to hide the key somewhere. I don't know. All right. Um, yeah. You want to make a note somewhere to yourself that only you'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> Losing that key would really suck. Yeah. <laughs> and right now, I got the Rio ones in a watch box. So that's, oh, that's probably, it? yeah, yeah, it's like perfect size. Yeah. So that's a... Uh, that's probably the early front runner, but, but we'll see. I'm moving in a little bit, so <laughs> things might get rearranged a little bit. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Okay, if there it was an, an actor who's going to play you in the movie about uh, the U.S. swim team, what mm. actor do you want? Who do you want? Huh. I mean... I'm seeing Robert Pattinson. I don't know why. Robert Pattinson? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> um, Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the, you know, the, like... I was I was thinking uh, Dwayne Johnson only because he's like my favorite actor. <laughs> See, no, Dwayne Johnson and I swimming in a mile. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's me, a scene. Let me tell you something. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me just let me tell you how it would be a great movie. No one would recognize you. Yeah. No, 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 no. No one I, would recognize you. No, it's like, wait, hold on. <laughs> what is that? the rock <laughs> doing in this yeah. movie? The rock was a defensive end. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bobby was talking about how he might be six <laughs> one. <laughs> Bobby, I don't know. I don't know about the rock, man. I, we'll, we'll we'll come back to you. We'll let you think about it for a second. He's like, I mean, I was thinking about the rock. Right <laughs> seems like a, a a normal choice. How about Love you, him boy? As an actor. <laughs> God, I mean, I can't follow up the rock. He's not. <laughs> so the guy, I mean, who I would want, he's not American, but I do Gerard Butler. Gerard. I Butler. think he might be the good most old... badass actor that <laughs> like there is. Good old Jerry. 